These are the 10 biggest mistakes shoppers make at Walmart. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to dispel a lot of secrets that no Walmart store executive or employee wants you to hear. If this is the type of content you'd like to see, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. And if you subscribe and turn your notifications turned on, the mistakes you might be making at Walmart this month might be different next month. I also do this for Target, Best Buy, all of your other favorite retailers, including some really cool fast food hacks. Before we begin, I'm going to take you through each of these secrets, also take you inside the store. There's some footage that you're not going to believe that I captured when I went in with my handy little smartphone. But before we get to that, all of your best daily deals are alive and well at my personal website, mattsdailydeals.com. So please feel free to check that out. I do use affiliate links, which means I benefit monetarily. If you're kind enough to use one of my links, the most popular deal are these handsome LED emergency lights right now. They drop to as low as $9.99, depending on how much you buy with free shipping. So that is all on mattsdailydeals.com. The first and the biggest mistake that a lot of people make at Walmart, which is also reflective of why I won't buy many small appliances on walmart.com, is I truly believe that the mishandling of products, particularly the larger boxes at Walmart, run rampant store to store. Well, Walmart has incredible prices. When it comes to something like an espresso, chances are the same deal that you see at Walmart is occurring simultaneously at Amazon or possibly Best Buy. And I want you to see what I found. Look at the side tear on this Nespresso box. And that's just one of many small appliances I would not buy at Walmart. Let's go down here and look at these self-basting ovens. It's kind of difficult to see. I'm gonna go around here to show you some of the the other issues that I have found on store shelves. Look at this, the toaster. Like, did someone stomp on each of the boxes after they dropped them in the parking lot? So despite the great prices, I'm urging, look at the Black & Decker toaster. I'm urging you guys, please, triple check all of the boxes. A lot of us just blindly grab from the shelf. We put it into our store shopping cart, we check out, and then a lot of us actually assume the damage incurred was caused by us during transportation, where it might actually have, in fact, been tossed through a football field like the store, at least several of the ones that I checked in my community. With that being said, if you guys are buying items online, a lot of us also assume that the damage to a product occurred during the distribution and the shipping, and you blame FedEx or UPS or USPS, it might have actually been the source. So what I'm going to ask you guys, if possible, whenever possible, and you can get to a Walmart, do the ship to store option on some of these really expensive small appliances that you can handle yourself. Check the box before you bring it home. That's the first mistake a lot of us make, number one. The second biggest mistake that I actually made once and many other people have made at Walmart is tied to the return policy. And this could be when you're returning that item that was actually broken on the store shelf that you inadvertently bought without checking the box or something else. Walmart's return policy has many of us actually lining up at the customer service counter. But what you might not be aware of is they actually have these wonderful kiosks that can help with an express return. You never need to deal with a customer service agent ever again. If you buy the item online or you buy the item in store, you can actually generate a QR code from your phone and you can create the return in store. No customer service, no lining up. Those lines are filled with people that don't know this. And there's also the returns by mail, which is, is obviously an option you, you might know about as well. The third biggest mistake a lot of people make at Walmart is they assume that Walmart's left hand knows what the right hand's doing. And it really doesn't between the retail and the website side, and I can attest to this. If you guys see something like this display where there are many laptops which are being advertised in my local stores, almost all of them are out of stock. I promise you right now, not only is there ample stock online, but many of the online prices are lower. And while Walmart will match its own prices online, which is a ridiculous thing that they even need to include that in a policy, I'm telling you right now, do not be dissuaded by those awesome deals you see in store. Sometimes they are 10 to 20% better online and the retail associates on the storefront have absolutely no idea that many of these other deals exist. The fourth biggest mistake is a lot of us run to these large open displays when Walmart advertises a product or clearance and we think it's the, the last chance on earth that we'll ever see that advertised. When products are behind a glass door, we often stay away. In fact, in my local store, a lot of the products behind glass are completely untouched and I actually have way too much time on my hands because I watch these cases for about two hours straight 
and no one went near them. But the prices on smart home products are just as competitive as what you would find elsewhere and they're not by any means expensive products a lot of the time. They're just products that are frequently stolen or shoplifted. So you'll see that many of the products here are $17, $25, $30. They are all great deals from what I was able to derive in terms of the data that I found, but I'm letting you guys know right now, just because it's behind glass doesn't mean it's expensive, doesn't mean it's unaffordable, and doesn't mean it's not worth your while. It's very similar to what CVS and Walgreens and Rite Aid will do. A lot of their easily shoplifted products are behind glass and are often a tremendous value. The fifth biggest mistake that I really need to stop with my, I, I gotta get really good graphics. I think that would be awesome. By the way, thank you to everyone that is subscribing and watching. I promise to make this worth your while. You're not going to believe secret number 10 and I also have a bonus, but let's stick with the fifth one for a moment, which is just a reminder. You need to know how to read the price tags, especially with how Walmart prices items. So a price tag ending with a zero right here or a one, I don't see if I can see any of these in Google images right now, but a zero or a one constitutes constitutes a final markdown price. That is the lowest price you are going to see. So look for things that have a zero or a one. If you see something on clearance that ends in five, five, so $4 and 55 cents, that denotes it's a first markdown. And sometimes an item could be marked down one of three times. So again, just because it's on clearance, if you see a five, five in the end of that price point, not worth your while if you can hold off a little bit and you do see ample stock of that respective product. The sixth biggest mistake that people make is tied to walmart.com and that's a misunderstanding that if you're shopping on Walmart, you may not actually be purchasing the product from Walmart. Walmart, similar to Amazon and eBay, is also a marketplace. Think of it as a digital shopping mall where other third-party retailers can sell their products. So let's just take a look at, uh, I don't know, Beats by Dre headphones. These are very popular right now. All right. So if you look at the Beats by Dre headphones right now, you would think that all of these are great deals and all of these are worthwhile. Let's look at the Beats by Dre Solo 3 Mickey headphones. This is being sold right now by, it's not even letting me read the merchant. That's, that's always a good sign. For the Power Beats 3 wireless headphones, the price is $92.49, which is actually a terrible price because these are older headphones. And it's being shipped by Comet Electronics spelled N-I-X, because they're oh so hip and cool. Awesome, as am I. But the Powerbeats deal on Amazon right now is $69.99. It's brand new and it is shipping much faster than the Powerbeats 3 deal from this respective retailer. And you're not buying it from Walmart. Walmart is just facilitating the transaction. So a quick tip guys, when you are shopping, if it becomes confusing to you for any purchase, just make sure that you scroll all the way down to where the retailer box appears on the left and you check walmart.com and then you are protected. And by the way, just because something's on rollback doesn't mean that's worth your while. We will discuss that in a few moments. The seventh biggest mistake that people make tied to Walmart is tied to timing. First thing to keep in mind is that when you at your local store, see a reduction tied to a specific product. You wait one or two weeks, you're going to do a lot better. Do not buy seasonal items early. And with that being said, specifically the containers and the outdoor decorations that you guys can see that I shot right here in my local store, the exact same products are available for significantly less at your family dollar store, Dollar Tree. And if you actually look at what's being reduced, the same reductions occur at both stores with two weeks apart separating them. So if you see something at Walmart you light on the container or the, the outdoor storage display aisle, whatever it is that you are looking at, please cross check with your family dollar or Dollar Tree store. You will be in for a surprise. I should mention though, the containers and the BPA free selection from Rubbermaid and many of the other brands that you know are all available and this is a very high quality versus going to the container store as an example. The eighth biggest mistake that people make lately at Walmart is completely avoiding the produce. Now bear with me for a moment. I know that the produce has a terrible reputation and many of you would not buy meat at a local Walmart if your life depended on it and I totally support you on everything that you've found. But I want you to see what I shot at my local Walmart and you will find that for the larger bulk offerings with regards to fruit and vegetables, everything is starting to look better than it ever has. Is it perfect? No. And should you buy produce just because you're at a Walmart and you're buying containers? No. 
but don't entirely disregard their produce section. They've taken so many hits over the years from consumer analysts like myself that they really have started to improve. And I just wanna mention that to you as something to consider. The ninth biggest mistake that people make at Walmart is misunderstanding Walmart's relationship with major brands. So let's first start with toys. I just wanna to mention to you guys, when you go through a toy aisle at Walmart, it is not only some of the lowest prices you will ever see on Lego, but don't confuse them for the Dollar Tree or Dollar General where toys are something I would avoid at all costs. The toys at dollar stores generally don't go through the same process of checks and ensuring that toys are safe and the same standards. Walmart not only abides by those, but has great relationships with most of the major brands, including Hasbro and Marvel, and it's awesome. With regards to other brands like Kleenex, Walmart actually has one of the most sought after aggressive and dependable relationships with large brands like Kleenex, where Kleenex will always be the cheapest at Walmart over many of the off name brands. So I just want to mention to you guys that if you do see a brand that you like, don't avoid it necessarily for something that's no name. Things like Kleenex, many of the cereal deals from the major brands are actually all better buys at Walmart and something to consider. And the 10th biggest mistake that many of us make at Walmart is assuming the word rollback means automatically it's the lowest price. In fact, there's actually a better trick to get the lower price. Rollback, which you've all been programmed under, it's like we see rollback and we're gonna go grab it whether or not we need it. That just means that it's being discounted to some extent been discounted. Sorry, my Canadianism just slipped in there. I caught it. No need to edit that. Been discounted. I can speak. The rollback may also mean that Walmart has too much stock of a particular product, so it's a surplus thing. The best way to actually get a deal at Walmart and ensure that it's the lowest price, in addition to all of those little price tag suggestions and secrets that I spilled is if you are shopping online, for an example, just type in clearance, like actually type in the word clearance into your search bar, and you're going to be taken directly to an area of deals that are not just rollback, but are at their lowest prices. And you can search 10 to $20, 20 to $30 using the, the side thing. And really some of these deals are, are tremendous once you get all the parameters in and filters. Oh, like this would be perfect for my daughter. So cute. She's two. I don't know if she'll fit into any of this, but, but 10 bucks for a, a two pack of dresses is awesome. With that being said, I'm not here to personal shop. I'm here to tell you that when you are shopping, just don't assume rollback is always worth your while. And the 11th biggest mistake, or just the bonus for this, something that you don't want to fall into is knowing when to shop the store. The typical thing I tell shoppers when it comes to store-wide sales is the early bird rarely gets the bargain. That means shopping too early for seasonal items and allowing a store to dictate when you buy something. But if you do shop early in the day at Walmart, specifically closer to 9 a.m., the stores are all refreshed, all restocked, and many of the lowest prices are available for products that you can physically pick up without having to cross compare and shop and use the app and look online and so on and so forth. I know that with what's going on in your community right now, it may be difficult to shop. The hours have changed. You don't want to wait in line, but that just might be something to keep in mind for later on. Now, with that being said, these are the 10 most frequent mistakes I've seen shoppers make. But if you've seen other mistakes, if there's other things that you love or hate about Walmart, I'd love to hear it. There's a comment section. Please feel free to share that with me. I've learned more from the subscribers of this channel than really a lot of the data that I collect on my own going store to store and combing the streets. So I hope that helps. If you like this type of content, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications on. I know your time is valuable. So thank you so much for spending it with me. Bye-bye.